Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout. Hopefully this recording will work. It's the third time and I always check it after five minutes, but it's only recording like a minute and 45 seconds. So um, I restarted my computer to see if um, that would help. So I'm just showing you some of the stuff that I am going to be using on this layout. I took out the chalk um, sticker or label or washi tape, whatever they call it and um, and some chalk markers and this is a fancy pants pattern paper and I just matted my photo with it I'm just trying to use up you know my my scraps and even when you look at the picture it just looks like you can just see enough that there's writing underneath so it just reminded me of you know it, this this is the news or you know like newspaper print underneath uh, this is a picture of my son's team it was a month ago um, they were in a tournament and uh, anyway they they won the tournament so uh, after they were done skating around the ice with the with the banner I got them to all sit on the ice and take a picture just like they do in the NHL so this is the picture and I cut a big um, strip of that star pattern paper and I don't know who made it I um, when I cut off the branding strip I was too too far down on the on the the mat that I could see so I'm going to use one of those frames that came in this month's kit and I believe they were from my mind's eye at first I mounted on that dot pattern paper and then I realized that I rather have it um, on the other one that is right there and that's a piece of digital print that I got printed at Staples and it's a digital file that I got from Studio Calico and then um, I just get them printed at Staples. Now I'm going to use some of that yellow pattern paper and I'm going to cut it down to size to, to fit right beside the photo and it's because if you look at the frame right now sitting there on the, you know black on black it's just getting lost on the layout so by putting that yellow chevron paper beside it then it's got something to rest on and it doesn't get lost on the layout anymore so I'm you know a little lazy so I'm just gonna take the photo make it so that it's equal I'm gonna cut it with my scissors and just make it so that it's the same size as the photo so I was looking for my pencil and I couldn't find it so I'm just going to take one of those erasable oh I guess I did use my trimmer erasable pens I guess they're called fluid pencils and um, I just wrote on the pattern paper and then I used my paper trimmer and cut it down. So this is the 14th layout using this kit and it took me an hour and 13 minutes. And my goal this weekend was to do 19, to get not, not 19 layouts out, nine layouts out in, wow nine layouts done in five days and uh, so I should have be at 20 by tonight now I'm happy to say that the 17th layout is just about done I have a few um, embellishments to put on so maybe 20 minutes left 25 minutes and it's gonna be done and then um, I plan on doing one this afternoon and one tonight so I'll have 19, 19 layouts done, hopefully. So that's my goal. My goal. So tonight, uh, then tomorrow night, I'll just do the last layout. So pretty close, pretty close to the 20 layouts. So I cut down two strips of that chalkboard. I don't know if it's washi tape, whatever they call it. And um, then I cut down two more pieces of that pattern paper. In the yellow chevron 
and that I'm going to outline all the pattern papers. And while I do that, I have a few comments that I'd like to read from Melissa0174. She says, "Did because I was saying that I was having a hard time cleaning off my mat. Did you try Mr. Clean Eraser on your mat? Yes, I did. And it, it didn't work. I mean, it, it faded it, but no, it didn't take it away. Um, I mean, I'll try, I'm, sh I don't know. I'll try it again, uh, in a few days and see if, you know, I can break down those inks and take them off. Um, Sean Lynn 72 says, I would suggest a hand sanitizer and alcohol whip, whips, <laughs> wipes. Um, I tried Sean Lynn after I saw your suggestion and it didn't work. Uh, so I don't know what's going to get this thing removed. Um, Lily 3 AM says, try fingernail polish remover on your mat. Um, I don't have any here cause I never do my nails. So, um, maybe if I go to the dollar store, I'll try to buy like a, just a cheap bottle and, and try that. Um, so thanks for your suggestion. And also she says, by the way, is it disturbing that I must watch your videos every night before bed or I can't sleep? No, <laughs> I do the same thing. Um, when I go to bed every night, well, I don't listen to my videos, but I, um, I have my iPad and I have earbuds and I put on a video and I go off to sleep. And the main reason is, um, you know, I have a son that's 14 years old and him and his dad will wrestle or whatever the case may be. And I work early uh, when I work day shifts. I work, I have to get up at 4.30 in the morning. So I don't want to hear the noise. So that's one of the main reasons. But I think music will would keep me awake. But I find um, scrapbooking, it just, it's enough that, and two, I, I figure, hey, if you know, if I'm going to go uh, off to sleep, I want to have some nice sleep, <laughs> some, some nice dreams. Um, so I, I do the same thing, Lily. So Lily 3 a.m. So nope, I don't find that's uh, disturbing whatsoever. I, um, and actually I've had quite a few people say that, that they listen to scrapbooking uh, process videos before they go off to sleep. And maybe it's so that we can kind of, you know, think of, because there's a lot of times I'll dream about a page. I know that's weird. And, and then the next day I have to do, you know, do it. <laughs> Um, so anyway, while I was doing that, I, um, outlined all the papers, I inked them all up, then I put down those chalkboard stickers, and now I don't know if I want to use those black fancy pants letters, or if I'm going to use the cream ones. So I'm going to put them both on wax paper, and then I'll decide which one I want to use. And I like this color better, but I don't find it stands out enough. And I have, um, I wouldn't say I have a huge collection of Copic markers, but I have, I know some people have way more than what I do, but I have quite a bit. I have, you know, enough that, um, that I have all the colors that I need, I guess. And uh, the only thing that I use my Copics for is to change the color of my embellishments. And that's a sad thing. But um, I just, and when I bought them, that's the intention that I bought them with. So I don't feel like they're waste, wasted, you know what I mean? Because that's what I want to use them for. And I use them all the time. So I used my chalk um, marker and I have two of them. I have one from close to my heart and I have the EK success. And the difference is the close to my heart one only has a wide nib and it turns white right away. And the EK success zig writer, it comes out clear and as it dries, it turns white. And now I'm going to use some basic gray, uh, stickers that we got. It was either last month or the month before in one of the studio calico kit and I hadn't used them at all that month but this month I used them quite a bit 
So I'm going to put uh, 2013 and I put it at the bottom and the top of the layout. At first I'm going to try to outline them so they stand out a little bit more and that doesn't work. Then I took out the yellow and I mean the nib on that is only 0.3 so I was like there's no way I'm coloring that in with that little marker. So then I went and got my market um, they're sort of like slick writers and um, I was going to use that but that too I didn't like the yellow so then I'm going to take a Copic marker and I'm going to color them all in and then I'm going to find the yellow is too bright and then I'm going to just going to get a deeper color and I believe I got the second one I got was Y17 and um, I really like the, the color of the second yellow much better. So this is where I'm trying the second yellow, I believe. Or maybe not. Because I was going to use those little asterisks on my page. And then I decide to go a different direction. This is where I try the second yellow. And it's just a little bit deeper yellow. So I'm going to color in all those letters again. And I'm just doing it on wax paper. And then I'm going to color in those asterisks, which I don't end up using. So I want to use some of the buttons that came in this month's kit because I hadn't used them again. And every time I take them out, I don't use them. I'm going to use one of those little flags that also came in the kit. I'm just going to put it to the top right of that little journaling block that was a frame. And then now I'm just going to spell out winner in white. Those little basic white letter just so that um, there is some at the top and the bottom of the layout just trying to fill out that you know that border as much as I can then we had gotten these um, a bag of confetti and it's all made out of cardstock from Studio Calco it was supposed to be with last month's kit but they had messed it up so then they sent us the right ones this month and there was some yellow stars and I thought it'd be cool to use with this but uh, the yellow was off so again I just used my Copic marker and I changed the color and then I wanted to there was some uh, frames that we got in this month's kit and they are the Dear Lizzie frames and I also took out um, some mini market stickers they're black and white and they were from the silent night collection and my battery had died and again i'm trying to do as many layouts as i possibly can uh, before the weekend is over because i start again my full-time rotation tomorrow i've been off for almost two months i had done like six shifts in two months or something like that so I start my regular rotation tomorrow so I'd like to have a few pages ahead um, you know so that I can still keep up with my goals but not be uh, pressured on getting a lot done every night and there's this star paper clip that came in this month's kit we got two of them so I used one on this layout and then I'm going to use that yellow frame that came in this month's kit and I'm just going to put one at the left of the layout and one at the right and it just kind of frames that whole cluster and then I'm going to use one of the bigger buttons in between on that chalk I don't even know what they're called chalk washi or <laughs> and um the only difference that it is from washi tape is that you actually have to there's actually a backing so and that's because it would stick to each you know to itself so it's like a washi but you have to peel a backing off and then I glued those frames and now I'm going to glue the buttons and I'm going to do sort of uh, not do <laughs> glue this second title I guess and it's just the name of their team it's predator predators 
So I'm just going to put it right there above the frame. And then I'm going to put those stars randomly on the pattern paper where there's stars on the pattern paper. I'm going to randomly put yellow ones throughout the page so that it looks like it's part of the pattern paper. And then I'm going to put some enamel dots and some splatters. And while I'm doing all that, I just want to give a shout out to five more people that do process videos on YouTube. Uh, and I'm going to put the link in on this video and also on my Facebook group. And the link from my Facebook group is also going to be in the description. If you want to join us, I have a file um, that I'm just putting them all in. So the first one is Crafton Kate. And she's awesome. She's really funny too. I, I love her. Katie Gordon. Um, she does awesome videos. Um, they're not voiceovers. She puts music, but her pages are gorgeous. Melissa Stinson. She doesn't do a lot on her blog, uh, on her YouTube, but she does do pages for Scraptastic. And I believe she's also a garden girl, but I love her pages. Her Royal Princess, and this is Stephanie, and she does um, some process videos. She does layout shares, and um, she's awesome. She's always leaving sweet comments too. And Judy Bakes 22, and Judy started um, posting to some process life videos, project life videos too, of her process. Whew, that was hard to come out. So check out these people. I'm going to leave, like I said, the link in this video description and also on my Facebook group. So I just want to give a shout out um, to all these people and I watch all these ladies. So on my next video, I'll try to remember, I almost forgot today to, to do it. I hit record button. I'm like, oh, I didn't pick out five names to, you know, to give a shout out. So, you know, there might be a day that I might forget. Uh, and if I go through the whole process video and I forget then uh, I'll just do it the next day but I'll try to remember so this is where I'm randomly putting you know yellow stars on the pattern paper so it looks like it's part of the background and then I'm going to add some enamel dots and I'm going to add them in two colors in yellow and gray and I like to like on one cluster added two yellow and one gray and then the next one Oh, I guess this one I did all two yellow and one gray. Usually I'll mix it up. But this time I did all two yellows and one gray, but I varied the size of whether the gray was the bigger one or the smaller one. And I had forgot to glue down a couple of those yellow stars. And then my battery's going to die. And then all I had left to do was um, splatter it. So I had to wait for it to upload to iMovie anyway. So by the time um, I was ready to do the process video, I had time to restart the camera and just quickly show you when I inked up the page. I did it in Passport and in Desert. And those are two Mr. Huey sprays. So that's it. Here are a few close up of the page. And that's it. The page is done. Thanks for watching. Bye.